Hello, welcome to uh, question 10b, given that integral of p, that is 1 to p, of uh, x squared minus 3x plus 1 dx, give us a value of minus 4 on 3. We have to find the value of p, where p is an what? Integer. So, let's apply the concept we know, integral from 1 to p of uh, x squared 3x plus 1 dx equals to uh, this. It means that when you find the integral of this, the answer we are looking for should be minus 4 on 3. For integral, we increase the power by 1 divided by the result, meaning x power 3 divided by 3. This is 3 power x power 2 divided by a 2. This is power 0, so we have x power 1 divided by 1. This is bounded by 1 and what? P. The result will be minus 4 on 3. We are going to replace the x by the P and 1. So if I replace that, I'll be having P exponent 3 on 3 minus uh, 3 on 2 P squared plus P. All this minus the lower limit as in 1 here minus 1 here, this will still be 3, right, on 2, plus 1 here, all this result will give you negative 4 on what? 3. So what do we do? Fast forward. I think for the first bracket, we can't do much, so we maintain it. For the second bracket, we can still find the LCM, so this will be 6 over 6, this will be 9, over 6, this will be 2 over 6, so 2 minus 9. Uh, if you subtract that 2 minus 9, that will be minus 7 plus uh, 6. That's what? Uh, minus 1, so minus 1 over 6. Okay, so let's see how that will span. So I should be having p power 3 over 3 minus 3 on 2 p power 2. I think plus p power 1. Remember, this is going to be minus into brackets. What do we have here? We have negative 1 on 6. Uh, let's bring in that power, that uh, fraction. That will also be 3 equals to 0. I think if I do that, it will make it a lot simpler. So p exponent 3 on 3 still maintain 3 on 2 p squared. This is negative, negative, positive. So 1 on 6, 4 on 3. So if you multiply that, you should be having 9 on what? 6, which is 3 on 2. So plus 3 on 2 equals to what? 0. You can show that arithmetic if you want. I want to conserve the space I have. All right, so what do I do? Uh, we still need to multiply by the LCM, which in this case will still be 6. So when 6 multiply, I'll be left with 2. So 2p exponent 3. 6 multiply here 3. So I have 9p squared, then 6p, then plus what? 3, 9 equals to 0. Do I have any common factor to cancel out? We don't have any common factor. So we need to now try values of p that can make the left also to be equal to zero in order to find the the factor that can divide it let's begin with zero i will just text the numbers i will not show their calculation because of what the space i'm trying to what, conserve okay so let's see if we start with zero remember zero in there will give you nine equals zero so that will not work if you use 1 also, we'll be having 2 minus 9 minus 7 minus um, plus 6. That is minus 1 plus this. You have 8 equals 0. That will not work. So if you use 2, 2 here will be 8. 8 times uh, 2 will be 16. 1 is equal to 0. That will not work. So let's use 3. 3 will be 3 here. That will be 27. So we have the factor of what if i have p equals to zero that is if p equals to 
the 3, it implies that the factor is going to be P minus what? 3 equals 0. Bringing this in, negative, equals what? 0. All right. What do we do? So we are going to use that to divide. Uh, you can use the synthetic division, which I dealt with that in the playlist, or we do the long division, as I'm coming to do now. So if P goes here, it goes there only two times, then it goes into P squared, so P cubed, that will be P squared. When you multiply this back, the 2 remain, the P now increase to power 3. 2 times this will give you minus 6, P power 2 still remain. When we subtract, the first part becomes 0, minus 9, minus minus become plus. That will give you a negative 3, P squared, plus 6, P plus 9. P goes in here again as negative 3, P. Multiplying as a negative give you a negative 3 p p squared, right? Then we are going to multiply this negative, negative, positive to a half plus 9 p. When we subtract that, minus 3 plus 3 will be 0. Then 6 minus uh, 9 will be minus 3. So I still have minus 3 p plus what? 9. So when P goes in there, it will be going there minus 3, which multiply the first part to give you minus 3P, the second part to give you what? Plus 9. So when we do that, so right here, we can easily say that the divisor and the quotient when multiply will give us this with no remainder. So now let's pick these two and find the values of P that we are going to find the integer that will be used to replace what? The integral here. So right from here, we can easily say that our equation becomes P minus 3 multiplying 2P squared minus 3P uh, minus 3 or equals what? 0. So we are picking the first part as in P minus 3 equals 0 or 2p squared minus 3p equals what? 0. Here, p will be equals to 3. Now, if we check this time, this is negative 6. We need the factors of that. These are the factors we can get for negative 6. When we add, we need to get a positive a negative 3. And you can see none of them will give you that. So that simply means that there is no um, factor, or this cannot be solved by factorization. It can only be solved using the quadratic formula, which will lead you in getting decimals or fractions, which are not going to be integers. So I can just use calculator to get the value of P in this case without solving it, because I know it will be a, a rational word number. So we can do that and see. So from here, if you put in a calculator, you'll be having 2.18 here, negative 0 point this. So we can say that therefore, P equals what? 3. Uh, since we are since, uh, since P is what? An integer. So that simply means that if you were to find the integral of 3, 1 to 3 of x to the power 2, I think 3x plus 1 dx, you will get your negative 4 on what? 3. If you solve that, this is the answer you will get. Ignoring these two, we can find p to be 3. Guess concept is clear. Like, share, comment, subscribe, and what? Come back for question 11.